guys. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, Betty and Alice and Thelma and Roberta and Stephanie. And did I get everybody who's here chatting? Uh, I think I got everybody. If I missed anybody, please forgive me. Good to see you guys. I see that there's a new book on the way to the publisher. What's your book about, Betty? Tell us your your basic gist of things. <laughs> oh, you had to commit your first murder? Oh, dear. <laughs> Hi, Sharma. Welcome, friend. Oh, we have such good things today. You have such good things today. Well, yeah. hey, um, I was looking to see if Betty was going to tell us what her, her book was about. But it's a medical murder mystery. Is it a medical murder mystery? Ooh, oh, I can't wait to read it. That should be fun. I loved the one about Molly, my home for Molly. I thought that was really cute. And I enjoyed learning about things from the kitty's perspective. And you guys know I've linked to it a few times because I thought it was a charming book. Hey, let's go ahead and get started because I, as usual, have a lot to share with you. And if Margie gets back in time, we're going to have Margie's makes. She's out getting her second COVID shot. So we'll see. Hey, I, this paper... I didn't know for sure what we were going to get because I couldn't see the, the pictures real clearly. But I think it's going to be really fun. This is a paper pack called Under the Gum Leaves from Kaiser Craft. It's pretty good weight. It's um, They call it cardstock. I call it heavy paper. But as we saw in the other one that I did from Kaiser Craft with the Blue Roses, um, it actually... Um, holds up pretty well to an explosion box for those of you who might look at it for that purpose. I thought it'd be fun for little craft books. It'd be fun for explosion boxes. It'd be fun for you scrapbookers out there. <coughs> and so I want to show you these. All of them are double-sided. So this one backs to this. Show it to me. Thank you. Why don't you take off the Debbie cam so we can see the table? And it's easier to show it to you. Okay, there we go. Now it's easier. Okay, so we got that pattern. This one backs to this beautiful red wood. Look at that wood. That's gorgeous. A nice dainty little patterns. This one. I thought it would be beautiful around the edges of a box to me, you know, like an outside box. Back to this one, some nice <clears throat> unobtrusive patterns. This green one backs to this pattern. Look at this one, this is so cute. So cute. Look at the characters. Oh my gosh, let me get these up where you can see them because they're really cute. <laughs> All our Australian favorites. And that backs to this nice stripe. <coughs> this parrot backs to this kind of rusted metal color, which is kind of cool. It comes with a package of stickers. We got alphabets. We've got Christmas wishes, seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas family, joy, love, believe. I don't think any of this, by the way, has to be Christmas. Um, a season of gladness and cheer, wishing you all a wonderful year, nice borders, couple nice borders, and the magic of Christmas never ends, and the, and the greatness of gifts are family and friends. That's actually really nice. 
So we've got this page of stickers. And then here's my favorite part, guys. They had these little wooden shapes that match the pictures. They're two separate items, but aren't they cute? Oh, I could see doing fun stuff with those. So how cute is that? <laughs> I disliked it. You may or may not like it. I didn't like it. You have my just bought a few, but I thought they were really, really cute. <laughs> of course, it's, it's got animals on it. I'm going to like it. It had animals. And these are just too cute. Really cute. We've got the Australian continent. We've got a bush. We've got an ostrich or an emu. Not sure which. We've got a parrot. We've got, I don't even remember what that little anteater type critter is called. Maybe it is just an anteater. We've got kangaroos and koalas, and it's just too cute. So anyway, <clears throat> we've got this under the gum, gum leaves pack from Kaiser Craft with the under the gum leaves. This is called the Wooden Flourish Pack for Under the Gum Leaves. <laughs> okay, um, I promise to tell you when I'm restocking stuff as well as when new stuff's in. So we've been at it with these again. These are extremely popular. These are those um, Cosmic Shimmer Aurora Flakes. And we have restocked all the colors again. Margie was delighted to see these come in because she'd been waiting for one of the colors. <clears throat> so really nice. You want me to whip through the colors real quick in case any of you are waiting. We've got Icy Lagoon. We've got uh, Rainbow Sherbet. I think that's the one Margie was wanting. We've got Firefly Speckle. We've got Icy Pink. These are very, very popular. We've got Morning Blush and we've got Royal Sparkle. All back in and available. <clears throat> okay. This, I had this once before, I believe, and it must have sold out. This was one that we did a um, stamping class on in that little wholesale event that I told you about. And we put this stamp. Well, um, this black silhouette, we stamped it black, and we silhouetted it over um, cardstock that we had blended and colored ourselves. Remember when we did that blending technique, guys? Using some oranges and reds, we made a beautiful sunset, and we stamped this in front of it. It was gorgeous. So this is our second order of these. Okay. These I ordered way before Easter, but of course they came in now. But that's okay. You can be prepared for next year if you want to, or we'll just let them sit out there for a while. We got the bunnies. This is the same bunnies that we used in the. Thank you, honey. This is the same cute bunnies that we used in the Easter packs. We have the flowers in spring. We use some of these in our Easter packs. Easter Bunny Packs, and we have the Spring Bouquets. These are all back in from Party Crafts. Okay, I, I've had these for a few weeks, and these were off the last palette, and I just, actually, I was going to say I just got them listed. I didn't. Margie just got them listed. They're okay. super cute, though. Brittany, Brittany just got them listed. Sorry. Um, this is, I'm not sure you can see the design really well. I hope you can. This is a adorable little mouse. This is from the, I think this is from the birthday collection. I'm not sure. An adorable little mouse sitting in a mailbox. Really, really cute. Okay, um, this one is a window box full of flowers. Really pretty. Love the little birds sitting in front of the window box and the little one off to the side. The little butterflies. You can do a lot with that one. That's beautiful. This one, the little birdhouse. 
with all the keys underneath it. Wouldn't that be a really cute housewarming card for somebody? <laughs> That's really cute. Wouldn't have to be housewarming. It'd be cute anytime, but it'd be really cute housewarming. This one is, oh, this is really sweet. I like this one. This is a little teddy bear happy birthday set. Cute little happy birthdays. And this one is part of the Dapper Chaps collection. It's all backgrounds. I thought this might be really fun for some of your Father's Day designs. We got shoes, pocket watches, glasses. What is that one? Bow ties, orders, and greetings. <clears throat> this one is called Relax and Unwind. Whatever it is you like to do, we got stamps representing sewing, cooking, baking, typewriter, flowers. <clears throat> this one is called Butterfly Kisses, and this is part of the Acornwood Bunny Love. We've got that bunny in front of the boots this right up there so you can see because it doesn't have real dark outline we got the bunny in front of the boots and let me see what else we've got here because those are not easy to see uh, we've got the bunny in front of the box of butterflies we've got a really cute little um bell <coughs> excuse me bell with heart kind of that bell flower with heart We've got Butterfly Kisses sentiment stamp with some tiny little butterflies. And you are so special to me with little tiny flowers. So part of Acorn Wood. If you like Acorn Wood, you'd like that one. Here's another Acorn Wood. It's also kind of hard to see because it does, it's not outlined deeply on the package. But we've got the bunny on a swing. We've got the bunny carrying the pot of flowers and, and walking across the flowery ground. We've got a little sentiment die that kind of is on a, on a little curve. We've got thinking of you on your special day. We've got a little box with a butterfly over it and we've got the little mouse holding a flower. So hopefully that helps in identifying what you're seeing there. Okay, we got some more Craft Perfect cards in. <clears throat> Excuse me, these are the Bright White USA2. We just got quite a few of these. If you like the A2 size but would rather have the 300 heavy 300 GSM cards, here they are while they last. These are by Craft Perfect. <clears throat> and you get 10, I believe, yeah, 10 cards and envelopes. In the pack, they are from Craft Perfect, and they are great because they're nice, heavy cards, but they're still in that U.S. size. Okay, this is a little stamp that I got from um, Frog Whiskers that was also used in our online class that we did. That's Clouds. And you can stamp this around and get wonderful cloudy impressions in your stamped backgrounds. This is really cool stamp. Um, it's all, one you almost have to see to appreciate, but it's really a cool stamp. Okay. <clears throat> we got an A5 clear stamp set, and this is called Moments in Time. I bought this one. I don't buy a whole lot of sentiment stamps because... Candidly, once you have a certain number of them, you just don't need to keep adding and adding and adding to your collection. However, this one was so versatile that I thought it was really worth having. And it's by Jamie Rogers. 
<clears throat> we've got Happy Mother, or excuse me, Happy Father's Day. We've got Every Time a Star Twinkles, I Think of You and Smile. We've laughed, we've cried, we've achieved, we've dreamed above all. Thanks to you, we've had the best time possible. A perfect pair. Hope your wishes come true. Make memories today so you can enjoy them tomorrow. Moments in time can change our world forever. I'm so lucky to have you as my friend. Dream big, achieve more. Thank you, love. Wish big, memories, get well soon. Forever, lovely. Wrinkles show the roadmap of our lives. Don't hide them, wear them with pride. Happy Mother's Day. So sorry you're leaving, but so proud for, for you starting the next adventure in your life. Always family, dream, happy birthday, wishing and with sympathy. Holy cow. The other thing I love about these is that they are small enough that you can find, you know, you can always find a place for these on your cards because these are, you know, some of them are very small and some of them are more in between. But I like that. I like the sentiments that you get here. And again, these are from Jamie Rogers, who I think is pretty swell. Here are the US A6 cards from Craft Perfect. I did a sale on these a while back, and I know a lot of you liked them. So when I had the chance to pick them up again, I got some more of the US A6. These are like four and a half. Let's see if it has the dimensions. Oh, they do, but it's in your P. It's in. Um, Millimeters, but I think they're about four and a half by six and a half. An interesting size, but they're great. Okay, let's see. Here's another. Oh, I think this is the same one. No, it isn't. This is another Jamie Rogers set. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Warmest wishes at this most difficult time. Allow your dreams to plan, allow your dreams to plan your future. Um, love is not one thing, it's a million little things. To see your dreams uh, come true makes my heart sing. The moment I saw you, I knew you would change my life forever. Everything can be fixed with chocolate. The best of everything is sent your way. So sorry you're leaving. I couldn't be prouder of you. Have a truly magical day. What was it like walking with the dinosaurs? <laughs> Happy birthday. I would use that. Uh, grandparents are the true heroes in this world. Believe, laugh, special hope, congratulations, and sending wishes. What was it like walking with the dinosaurs? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's probably why I bought that. <laughs> Okay, some stencils. Again, we're preparing for Jamie Rogers' adventures. So more and more stencils, 24 stencils, lots of stencils in our world. Here's our first one. I love this one. This one's just, it's called Geolines, but isn't it interesting? I think that'd be a really cool background. <laughs> Ouch, that one hurts, Alice says. <laughs> Look at these cool embossing folders. This one is called, what? This is called Fanciful Flowers. You could see it, I couldn't. Fanciful Flowers, isn't that beautiful? Boy, that's pretty. <laughs> and this one's called Pebble Rush. I don't know what a pebble rush is, but it works, I guess. Pebble Rush. Okay, these are from Studio Light. And when I saw them, I just thought they were too cute for words. We don't do a lot of cute in our store, but come on, those are adorable. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I love the elephant. I love the dog. I love the hippo. I love the hot air balloon. There's just, that is just too cute for words. That is too cute for words. Yeah, but the sayings. Did you read them? Oh, darling, go buy a brain. <laughs> jump, don't get that. Uh, jump, jump, you don't get that S. 
you want by sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, jump, you don't get that ass you want by sitting on it. Here's an example of how they've used it on the back. That's just too cute. Okay, so it's mean, but I love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this one, too. Now, this one's just pretty. Come on. That's pretty. I love this one. Look at those birds with the crowns. Aren't they cool? They are really cool. Yeah. This is by Marlene, who is a primary, one of the primary artists, artists at Studio Light. And here's an example of how she's used those. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, that's beautiful. This almost makes up for this. <laughs> I really want this. I just got to tell you. <laughs> but then I'm kind of mean. <laughs> Look at this stencil. I was just describing this one on the phone the other night. This is a really cool, versatile stencil. I do, uh, as you guys know, I do a fair amount of corners. And this has four different, in fact, I'm going to take it out of the package because two of the coolest corners are up in the top. <clears throat> this is a really cool stencil. I'll still hold it up against the packaging, maybe uh, let's say the packaging so we can see it. But look at all the corner choices you have on this. Now you're thinking, well, what am I going to do with those, with said corners? You told me I had to point this towards you, then you moved. So you got to get back where you belong. <laughs> if you want me to point things at you, right, you have to stay put. Okay, so we've got this big, beautiful butterfly in the center, and then we've got a kind of a, a simple corner on this side. We've got an extremely ornate corner on that side. We've got these beautiful corners down here, two kind of in-between ones. These would be great, really, really good with, um, with um, gilding polish or with paste or with, um, you know, putting glue through and then glittering. These would be really beautiful. I love those. Okay, this was one that was recommended by Roberta. And I got to tell you, I tried the one that she sent, and I love this brush. This thing, you have this really, I'm going to take that off. They had the little hang tag weird on it. This is a really, really, really cool blending brush. Um, you get the smoothest, most beautiful blends with this. This is a good one. Good one, good one. Great brush. Excellent. And very reasonably priced. And then it's got its own little holder so you're not getting your ink all over your table while you're, you know, between uses. It's neat. Neat brush. <clears throat> okay. I bought these when we were doing decoupage, and I just thought these were just really pretty patterns. They're from Santoro, but they, they don't have to be kid-themed ones. Anytime you're looking for a decoupage background that's just a real simple design, this is just the little purple hearts. And on this one, oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Brittany's note about the prices thank you Brittany. <laughs> okay and then we have a little floral background these are very inexpensive too i think <laughs> i can look while i'm looking i think our price on this is 3.99 and you get through how many sheets you get three sheets that are 35 by 40 centimeters so um let's see that'd be 40 would be somebody might be faster on the math than i am um shoot um, 40 
10 is 4 inches, so um, 16, 12 by 16 about, I think. And then the pretty little yellow, uh, yellow background with the little white flowers. So I like these. I think these are fun. <coughs> Whether you use them as regular paper or decoupage paper. Okay, here's a fun little tool. Hopefully I can get into it. There we go. This is like, I, I don't know if you remember my make it, make art station that I had. This is a little version of that. This is a platform for use with your stencils. So you hold your stencils on while you're working with them. And then you can keep your stencil and your paper in place while you're inking through. And of course, it's quite a lot smaller than my station. Um, why don't you grab the station so we can show that too. I mean, make art station, it's sitting right there. Can you see the box? I just want to show both at one time. So this is a smaller version of it. I don't know the price right off, but it's a magnetic stenciling color set. So here's an example of using it over your paper. <clears throat> and this is what they're doing. Thank you. I bought this because it gave us a nice little choice, a smaller choice for working with stenciling. This is the one that I use all the time. And I got to say, I love, 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 love this one. This is by Wendy Beachy, and it has a big grid that's, I don't know, 12 or 13 inch. I guess it's 12 inches because it has a ruler on it. That would be my guess anyway. But it's got a magnetic ruler and four powerful magnets to hold things in place. I love this one. I just totally and completely love my station. But uh, this is a smaller version, and it is wonderful. So I have both of these in the store. Since we're going to be starting to do more stenciling work, these would be something to give some thought to. I love my station. I think it's, it's actually rapidly becoming one of my favorite crafting tools. So here's the, here, here's the smaller version. And it's now available in the store. This is called Magnetic Stencil Color Set. This one's from Nellie's Choice. And yeah, this one's small enough to, you know, if you craft on the go, if you take things to a friend's house, or which we're going to start doing again here before long, guys. Um, if you take things to a friend's house and or, or a family member's house and you craft there, this smaller size would be a, a nice thing to have. Um, we ran out of these Nouveau Golden Sparklers really early on when we were selling these Nouveau, Nouveau powders, and I just got a nice supply of the sparkles in. This is the one, guys, that was the tones of gold. Oh. <laughs> Roberta says, you opened that. Please put my name on it. <laughs> Dibs before dibs are offered. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so this is the golden tones one that we had. I love the golden tones. <clears throat> Hi, Diane. Welcome, friend. Okay. <laughs> Bryce and the girls are yelling at me over the amount of mirror board I'm getting in because evidently now we have two full shelves of um, Craft Perfect card. As long as I can get it, I'm going to keep getting this. One whole bookshelf and a half. Oh, a bookshelf. Cases. A bookshelf and a half. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we, I, keep, I keep getting this. I don't know if maybe they have remanufactured it, but um, it's okay. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I'm so glad that we're getting some of these back in. This one's called Tidal Wave. This one's called, it's similar, but it's lighter. This one's called Marina Mist. 
This one's called, I think I had some of this last week, Petal Pink. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous mirror board. I don't know how long they'll last. Um, but maybe they have remanufactured. I don't know. But they filled all my back orders, and I actually heard. Um, I saw a, a mailing that said I had more mirror board on the way. That's okay by me. Okay. So sometimes we all know that sometimes I'm a doofus. <laughs> This pack here represents the fact that I'm a total doofus. I don't know how I did it. I usually do not buy the fussy cutting designs, but I did it in this case. And I got, I don't know, like 10 packs of 10 sheets of these timeless flowers. So Brittany has a really, 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 really good buy out there for you. I think it's in the Brits Bargain folder, but I'm not certain. Um, yeah, if anybody likes fussy cutting, go ahead and buy these up. They are a heck of a deal because, in fact, I'm selling them at or maybe even slightly below my cost because I didn't mean to get these. Um, yeah, they're right there. And what's the price on this pack of 10 sheets? This pack of 10 sheets is $3.99, guys, which represents that is pretty darn close to my cost, maybe even slightly below by the time that I shipped them here. That makes them 40 cents a sheet for these. They're really pretty flowers, but they are fussy cutting, and yet they are. each sheet is going to make three beautiful designs. So if you like fussy cutting, there you go. It's in Brit's Bargains folder. We keep selling out of this again and again and again, and I keep bringing it in, and we keep selling out of it. This is the Miri Essentials Harlequin Brights. It keeps coming in for really good reason. Look at those colors you get in this back. It's gorgeous. So we just got a few more of these, uh, 24 sheets to a pack. Okay, I'm super excited about these, and they don't look like anything special. This is one of those things that probably we're not going to sell an awful lot of until I show you how to use them in creative ways. Or you can go out and look at the Jamie Rogers videos on YouTube, and you too will fall in love with them. They are so very cool. These dies i'm going to show you make your cards your wall designs other things dimensional it actually lifts your design up off your page they are so very cool and this is um i'm just going to whip through the designs i bought all the designs we are going to do some classes with these this one is, and it does have, he says he has some inspirational designs inside, but I'm not going to open these to show you. Go out and take a look at the Jamie Rogers video online, and you will see how cool these are. These are called the, what does he call these? This one's called Canvas, they're called the Canvas Collection. So search Canvas Collection with Jamie Rogers on YouTube, and you will see how cool these are. They are so cool. They are just barely released from Creative Expressions. I ordered them months ago, and they are just in. They are so, so cool. Um, this one is called the Square for obvious reasons. This is what it looks like from the back. You're actually building a three-dimensional square. And then see how it has the layering dies inside it. This one is the oct or hexagon. See how they're using them, putting them together, and making different shapes out of them. Imagine using pieces of your image and lifting them with these. Here's what this looks like from the back, so you can see the actual size. Here is the triangle.
here is, can you um, find, well, maybe, I'll link them in the newsletter. I don't know exactly where she put these. This is the rectangle. This is the, this one's called the panel. A longer, skinnier piece. I keep forgetting to turn them around so you can see the back. This one is called the octagon. Are they shadow like dies? Yes. Yes, I would say they really are because they're actually lifting a panel up in the center of your card. And the lift is about, I'm going to say the lift is a quarter to three eighths of an inch lift in your cards. They're so cool, I'm telling you. And this one's called the diamond. Hi, Brenda. Welcome. You can catch up with the other fun things on the rerun. Hey, I have been busy, busy, busy. Let me show you our cards for tomorrow night. I'm really proud of these, actually. I love these. We are not going to be able to make all of these cards online. Thank you, honey, for zooming in. We're not going to be able to make all of these cards online. Let's see if I can get a clear background for you. There you go. We're not going to make all of them during the live stream, but I will make sure you know how to make all of them. Here's the first. This is from our, it's called um, Dainty Tulips card collection. Look at that. And I think I showed you this one in process the other day. I actually finished it. And man, I love that. Number two, so you will have five. The materials for five cards will probably do two of them, I'm thinking, together, because this takes some time to put together. But they're beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? I love, 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 love this embossing folder. There's three. For my fans of purple, there had to be a purple one. Four. The new iPhone 12 comes in purple. Oh, you're kidding me. I need it. They just announced it. And look at this shaker card, guys. What do you think? Five cards. This is our magazine kit. Um... I'm just so happy with the way these turned out. I love, love, love that embossing folder. Now, I <laughs> didn't want to assume that you would all have round sets to create all these. So I sat here the other night and I die cut all the circles you see here. I die cut a panel for you to run through your embossing, excuse me, for you to run through your embossing folder. This one didn't have one, but this one, I die cut that circle. I die cut both of those circles. <laughs> I die cut both of these circles. Your kit is going to include the magazine, the dies, the stamps, uh, the embossing folder, and all the materials for five cards. And can you tell me what this one retails for, honey? It's there you go. Uh, the retail on this kit is twenty three ninety five. You're making five cards, and remember, you're going to be left with the embossing folder, the dies, and the stamp set. That's a good deal. <laughs> and I gotta say, these are some of my favorite cards I've made in a while. I really love these. Okay, these. Oops. Hello. I just dropped my acetate all over the floor, and I really, really don't want to run my chair over it because this is for your kit. 
It's for this kit, actually, that we just talked about. I just knocked it all over the place. Hopefully, we'll still have all the pieces here to wipe them off when we're done. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> all right. Here is... This is a week from Saturday. This is not Saturday's class. I finished those, the dainty tulips, and I didn't have the right kit upstairs, so I started working a week out. This one says, spring tweetings just for you. And it's a rocker card. <laughs> I love the spring tweetings, and I love the rocker cards. They make me happy. <laughs> Okay, let me get to these last. This one says, to a special little girl with love. Isn't that cute? Oh, simple, but absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> this one says, and note, these are all occasion cards. These are not just Easter cards, even though the designs may be springish this one says you are so lovely you are so lovely and we used one of our kathy girl bows on the bottom of that in class we'll walk through tying that don't worry we'll tie it together you're so loved here is an oops I folded it the opposite direction because I had the flower and I didn't want it to bend. Okay. This one I'm using one of my roses on. You can put a bow or something there if you don't have the rose kit. This one says, a little birdie told me it's your birthday. These are a week from Saturday and it's part of the Hunky Dory box kit. Isn't it cute? Oh, they're so cute. Okay, here's another one. This is a box kit, so we're going to get a lot of cards out of this. This one says, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. <laughs> Look at that little bunny's face. All three of those bunnies, actually. The faces on these are just adorable. This one. I actually think this would look really good if it, I didn't have any up here. I think this would be really cute if you put corners on it. I didn't put corners on it, but you guys probably have little gold corners in your set. Wouldn't that look cute with corners on it? But it's a... Uh, oops. Let's fold it back, right? Isn't it cute? Cute. Little gatefold card. I love that bunny. This one just says, sent with love. <coughs> Imagine what the kids in your life would think of these cards. Okay, here's two that actually are Easter because that's the toppers I had left. Um, this is says, with love from the Easter bunny. This one says, Happy Easter! If you don't have the flower, I actually am enclosing a two-foot piece of the soft yellow ribbon that you can tie a ribbon on that lower corner or on the upper corner. So you'll still have the materials to make this card really pretty, even if you don't have a... Even if you don't have a... a um, the flower kit. This is my favorite. I absolutely love the way this one turned out. Isn't it cute? I used it. The, your kit will include the nail heads. That's what I'm calling these gold beads, the flat back gold beads. Aren't, isn't that, this is my favorite. Oh, my favorite. I just love this one. Okay, this is part of the, this kit is now listed. It's part of the Hunky Dory Magazine Class Kit 13. It's out there in the class kits now. And we're going to take a quick look at what else you're getting in here. As I did with the last class kit, 
you're going to get this is the wrong set. Let's move that off because that's not the right set. Um, you are going to get more than you're going to get all the supplies to make all nine of these cards we just looked at. So you're going to get the topper set for uh, the top that comes with toppers, double sided papers, and inserts to make these cards that we just showed you. In addition, I put a lot of stuff in the wrong head. I just stuck all this in the wrong magazine. Okay. In addition, you're going to get the Hunky Dory magazine with other ideas and um, ideas for the second kit. I am going to do the second kit the following week. So I'll have this kit will include the magazine and the dies and all the supplies from Hunky Dory. And then my class kit will be pretty inexpensive because it just will include just the um, just the materials to make the cards we're demoing. So in addition to what you've already seen, you're going to get, these are the actual pieces that we'll be working with. Oops. You know what? I missed one. I better do that one up real quick. Hmm. Maybe we'll just put it, we'll just put it in with the second kit. Let's just do it with the second kit because I missed that cute little chick. So looky there, we're going to get another one. So that would be nine from, or 10 from that set. But all of this, we get all these toppers. It's fun that they show this little girl or the, the young lady, but they don't show her face. This one, I one popped out. You know, it's good die cutting when it pops out on you. This is a wheelbarrow. Uh, it's all uh, all icons of spring. We've got a bicycle. We've got a little scooter. We've got a wheelbarrow. We've got an umbrella upside down with flowers in it. We have tags. So cute. You've got inserts for all of those. You've got double-sided papers. I have a couple pieces left from my other kit that I thought we might use over here. I got to show you these because these are so cute too. I need to try and use some of these in the in the designs. But you also get when we're all when it's all said and done, you're going to get this really adorable wagon die punch this out in different colors and then layer that up it's going to be so fun making that wagon and all the flowers look at this really pretty embossing folder this is included in your kit and I love these. I just got to say, I totally, let me see if I can find something behind this. I totally love these stamps. We've got both the girl and we've got that adorable little bunny, the chicks. Let's see what the sayings say. Um, oh, I had it backwards. Uh, friends forever sending happy thoughts. We've got a little butterfly, several little tiny butterflies. Um, several tulips, and then that bunny and the bird. Aren't they cute? All this is in the kit. This kit runs 20, can you look for me, 29, 28.95. $28 that includes the entire box kit, all the materials to make these nine cards, and then we'll have the hunky dory side of things already covered for next week. So our our second class kit for this should be really inexpensive because it's just the added on, added on card materials and mirror board and things to finish our what will probably be ten more, maybe eleven since we have the one I missed. <laughs> 
I've already priced everything, so I don't want to go back and change that since we're already assembling the kits. But um, we'll just make that chick with the second batch of cards. So we have this coming up week after next. You have some time to get this one and have it on hand and be ready to go and work with me. I'm trying to get ahead of you a little bit, but it's a challenge. Okay, now I got this Saturday. How am I doing for time, huh? 50 minutes. And then 50 minutes? I told you I'd be done in less than an hour. I don't have this Saturday done yet, but let me show you where I am. I'm working out of this Tattered Lace magazine. This will be up in a day or so. I'm going to try and see if I can finish these tomorrow. These will be Saturday's cards. And this is the magazine. Um, you get, with this magazine, you get the... Cutting dies. You get the mouse, mommy and me mouse, with the red, with the rose. I just can't find my way in. You get the mommy and me with the rose <laughs> die. It's a big die. Look at that. I mean, I have big hands, so that is a big, sizable die. You get, and that also has triple X's, you know, hugs, 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 and then it has a, a love you punch out also. And then let me see what I've got this white on the back. You also get these block letters of love. You get the teddy bear with the flower, and you get these little um, heart. There is also, I believe it's a 38-page free download that goes with this magazine that has this mouse, and it has um, it also has the same mouse in a purple color palette. Yes, it does. It has it in purple, and it has lots of beautiful background papers. And in fact, the magazine has some really beautiful background papers. I am going to create two cards for Saturday that have absolute. I think I'm going to use these backgrounds for my mouse and for the other one. I'll show you in a second. Aren't they cute? It has this beautiful paper. Oh, this one. Um, it has a couple of, of images that we don't have the dies for. But nothing says you can't fussy cut them if you want to. And I did one of them. This is some more of the background paper. This is some more of the background paper. Here's, I love the, the, this really does look like it's shiny. It's not, but it looks like it is. Shiny and silver and gold. <laughs> it looks shiny, it's just not shiny. Okay, and in addition to that, they had this really pretty paper, which I'm in the midst of making a card out of. And they had, on the back side of that, they had this pretty paper, which I'm in the midst of making a card out of. So these two will be finished and they will be part of your kit. In addition, I got that over here. In addition, this is what I did with some of my mice. I punched it, layered it up, and it is so, I hope it shows on camera, how beautifully dimensional this mommy and me is. It's so cute. I, it, the, you got to note the expressions. Look at mommy is just in her glory, and the little one is just saying, oh, she's squeezing me so tight. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> and we got all the pretty little, you know, love yous and triple X. Now look at this one. This was also included in it. Maybe it was the purple flowers in her hair or the purple ribbon on the flower pot. I don't know, but I had to cut it out. And so I fussy cut this one. I can show you it's really easy fussy cutting. 
And so this was in there. This was intended to go with a different diet that they did not include in the set. I hope they don't do that very often. But um, I did love this kitten in the flower pot. So I layered that up also. And I'll show you how we can go through and we can layer these up. We can fussy cut them, layer these up, and just make some really adorable cards. So I, we will have at least four, maybe five cards in our class kit for Saturday. And I want you to know that this is really, 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 really cute. But that's not the only one we're going to do. We're going to have some other fun cards in Saturday's kit also. So, um, so far, I have not listed this one quite yet. I haven't finished the cards to know exactly what I've got in them yet, but we'll have four or five cards. I want to know what kind of would you use to get the glitter on the two flowers? Um, I use stickles. I just use stickles. You guys want me to put stickles in the kit? Or would you rather just use, would you rather use um, your own? Stickles, Diane, are these little glitter glue bottles that it's, it's a glitter glue. The glitter's already in it and you just draw with it. Okay. So that's. They should be using Mary R. They should be using the little ones that we have. So you guys want me to hold? Here's what I'll do. I won't put the stickles actually in your kit. I will um, link it to. I'll link it so you can find. Okay. Yeah, you got plenty. Okay. Yeah. So you don't need more stickles. Okay. I'm not going to put the stickles in the kit, but I will link it so that if you don't have stickles, like Diane. You can grab one of these. And yes, you can get them from me. I have about, I don't know, six or eight colors at any given point in time, depending on what we're working on. And they're not expensive. What is it, Margie? About two something? Two twenty nine? Two ninety nine. Is it two ninety nine? I think it's two ninety nine. I think they're actually less than that, but maybe I'm wrong. But they're less than three dollars. And you get amazing effects from stickles. Bryce is going to look. <laughs> I'll get a link for you, but I'll link it in the newsletter too. So that's what I got, guys. This is this is the class in the works for Saturday. Watch for that to come up. Um, you won't have your kits on Saturday, but I promise you, we're going to make some really really fun cards out of this. I'm t targeting that these are Mother's Day cards, so I will definitely have the kits done in the next couple days. What? Oh, um, what? Oh, stickles. They are normally two ninety nine, but they're on sale at the moment for two nineteen. Okay. All right. There we go. All righty. So that's it for me. I'm going to move my stuff ever so quickly here. And Margie's going to take over for Margie's Makes. And Margie, I'm going to excuse myself and run in the office and continue working on taxes because it gives me a few minutes to do that. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to duck out and duck out and go work on my other project. You've got a few projects. I got more than a few projects going. I got too many projects going, but I'm. I'm getting her done. I'm working on it. So, okay, let's see. What color of stickles did you think you used? Uh, I know what I used. It was this one. What I used was Stardust. Okay, let me load up my box here ever so quickly. I'll just give you some space. I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah. Oh. I brought my alcohol markers to talk about it. We'll talk about it the next time. 
We're always talking about our alcohol markers, but I don't know when's the last time we actually showed you our hunky dory alcohol markers. I'll go over those next week. There was nothing urgent about covering them. I put this one back in the package. So cute. This here. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for these. <clears throat> I'll stack my stash of cards out of your way here. Sorry for the delay, guys, but <clears throat> I need to take these to the end of the table because they're not going to get the kids unless I put them there. Okay. All right. One, two. I dropped my chair down so it would be comfortable for you in your back. <laughs> But All then right. that means on, you're yeah. having to get up higher. All right. Excuse me, Bob. Sorry, sorry. I'm out of here. Sorry. I will see you guys tomorrow night. If you have questions, Bryce can holler at me in the other room because I'll skip my desk. <laughs> Well, let me find the other end of the chair. Okay. Hi, guys. <clears throat> so this last, not last week, but the week before, we um, went over uh, one topper set. And so I'm going to not go over much of the different things that um, that we already had listed, um, just because we've already talked about them before. And the goal of doing this is to be able to see how you can do different things with the items that are in our store that don't always get to be sent to your direction for a class kit, because otherwise the it would just make the class kits so expensive. So this is kind of a fun, I get to play a little bit and have a great time. So let's start with this. This is the topper that I'm using this time. I can move it back. Um, this one is the Tranquil Moments and it has little candles and dragonflies. And there are both these in the luxury kits. So you would get two of each kind that we show you. Um, and then also you can get them as just topper sets as well. Um, but it's got a little basket that says with love and best wishes. It's got a lot of different little pieces of toppers in here. And I always like those because you can do some extra fun stuff with them. And then um, the cardstock itself is, here's our foiled cardstock. Oh, got to move a little bit, huh? Okay, foiled cardstock. And then this one is our regular cardstock. And I wanted to point out that over here, there is a foil border. Um, not all of Hunky Dory's topper sets come with a foiled border, but it kind of makes it fun to be able to do different things with it. So let's take a peek at what I did. So kind of just start with this one. Um, this one is just using a little bit of our satin bow with one of the little rectangle sliders on there. It's a DL card. And this one says birthday wishes. I went through and I again, uh oh, I didn't bring it over here with me, but I will point it out just because I used it throughout these. Um, the Moonstone um, Glimmer. And it's translucent, so you can put it on anything and it will still show that color up and behind. So you can see the sparkles. It's not as prominent as 
um, the stickles are, but it does give you this really great uh, 3D effect because it sits up higher than a, than stickles normally would. And then these are just three of your normal little rhinestones. I put them on the little silver foil dots that were on here and I glittered up my butterfly flies and my dragonflies and what I did was I ran the moonstone right through here from the Nouveau's glitter and I just put it along the sides. I didn't put it all over, just highlighted it. Oh, and I forgot. This is the inside. We use the paper pad back paper um, as the background in here and then it says the world is full of promise. And I did not do any um, items inside just because this is kind of treated as an insert. And just make sure that when you do your inserts, there's also little dotted paper if you don't want it to be so bright as this blue. Um, just remember with inserts that you always just put it along the edge that you're gonna put your insert on. Or if you're going to do a double insert, you would also place it here with your double side sticky tape. If you don't and you try and do it all the way around the edges, it won't fold up nice and close nice and pretty. Okay. Now with that, without Debbie around, I'm not so good about remembering my sizes. I um, This is an A6 as far as I can remember. Um, and I've got the holographic mirror board on there from Hunky Dory. Um, I tend to buy that just because it kind of will reflect whatever colors you have around it. So it makes it really fun. And um, this is just the topper set piece that I've put in here. And you would think that I did something magical with lining up and making sure the flowers and everything set. Um, and I didn't. So this is what I did. Let me find my little goodies here. So I had a choice of having this from our um, Little Hunky Dory Book of Promises. I'm really loving this one. It's always nice to have a little bit of something extra to be able to say some of the things that maybe you don't get to say. But basically what I did was I placed this right on top of my holographic. And then my topper set just looks like this. And I just turned it sideways. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. There's the little dragonflies. And what I did was I just turned it sideways and worked it to where it matched the colors of the flowers with the 3D. So it really gives you this 3D effect with it just being part of regular plain old paper. And it's really not that plain because it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then continuing on with what I used last week, um, it's the Dazzles Pink borders, jewel borders. And again, um, I put one here, started it up from where the flowers started and then down on this side. So it gave it a really great asymmetrical, <clears throat> excuse me, a symmetrical look with having them on opposite corners. Um, and then I just put on a couple of little pearls from the Hunky Dory Pretty is Pink gym set. Um, these are the smallest out of the group. I tend to go smaller, but if somebody likes it, they can always go bigger. Um, and then again, use my uh, Nouveau Moonstone Color uh, Glimmer Paste. And these really, I added on about three layers with just a little paintbrush. It worked really great. Mm -hmm put it on, you can dabble it on, and it can be thick or thin. It I've put on, like I said, three layers here and it hasn't cracked, crumbled, and, I, and I've definitely put them through the works because they've transported in my car on at least two or three different <laughs> occasions. <laughs> um, this one is, uh, 
a card that went awry. So this, <laughs> so I'm going to just be honest with you right off the bat. This is not exactly what I originally had intended. Um, I put it on um, one of our uh, stopper cards. It was, a, yeah, it is one of our stipper cards. Um, I believe that it was the craft style stipper. Um, I'll double check that and get back to you on that one. Um, what happened was is that my little basket was just askew enough that it really did not match and I did not feel comfortable with being able to show it the way that it was. So I ended up having to take it apart. In the process of taking it apart, um, what I ended up having to do was is re uh, create what actually would go around there. Let me move this this way. That will help you be able to see that top of the entire time, I think. Um, so here you can see the foil border and you've got a triple border around your picture. And in my case, I don't have that, but I was able to quickly recreate the silver outing outline. Um, I took some of my backing from the eight by eight paper pad and attached that to some cardstock. And I did the same thing with the back with some of the print from the eight by eight cardstock, uh, eight by eight pad. Um, and I just ran them through my nesting dies. Um, these were specifically Moonstone nesting dies. I know that Debbie um, has tattered lace nesting dies. Um, and let me tell you, anytime that you can stick with just some of those original sizes, it so much will benefit your crafting. For example, when you make a mistake and you put it on crooked. <laughs> so uh, I just literally layered it all on. Here's my cardstock piece from this as the border. I basically took my piece, cut it upside down, as you can see, and I used it right along the edge down there. And then I took the sides of this and I put them here and here. So I cut it and there was just enough to be able to have that DL, that DL card that I showed you a minute ago. Um, on because you can't open this one and then these are flowers that are on the front this is not the classic rose um it is one of the other five petal um all occasion flowers that are there um from heartfelt creations uh and then i just had a lot of fun i went through there and i used some of my opal polish inside my flowers as well as putting that moonstone um Nouveau glimmer paste in there and it just really made it pop. I also took a little bit of my um, markers just to give it some of its lines and edging so that you can get that dimension in there that you would not get. And that is just truly just regular plain old ink me cardstock that's in there underneath. Um, and then we've got the bow. This bow um, is one from our ombre set of ribbons. Um, it comes with various different colors. Um, I believe that we have some in stock still. I'm not sure how many we have in stock right now, but we do have some. Um, I've placed my pearls along each side. And then on the back, I put on my uh, backing paper from the 8x8. Then I used my nesting die to match the other one on the other side. And then I took from the little book of promises and I they had the picture with the basket that matches the front in there. And it says true friendship is a promise you keep forever. Oh, and I went ahead and because when you open up the card, I tend to in my sticker cards because when you open it to be able to stand it upright and I've closed this one so much to be able to make sure that it stayed that way. I think it just wants to sit closed now, but um, I always tend to put at least a little edging around the bottom. Um, with some of my extra papers, just so that when they try and open it for the first time and then realize that it doesn't really open, um, you get to have a 
pretty little spot inside. And you can always write a hidden little note for people that know that you do that. They may be looking for a little surprise. Okay, so this one is um, what Hunky Dory calls a connect card. We will put that in um, the links. And what I did was that I found this on the bottom of one of my eight by eight pads. And it was so pretty, I decided, you know what? I really, and not only that, but I had used some of this blue, as you can see, for this one and for the other one as well inside. So I was down to just having some of this left. And I went, great, it comes with six, I believe, of each design, so I figured have at it. So on these kinetic cards, I first thought that they were the never ending card, um, but they weren't. Um, instead, what they do is this. And then it can sit on your table and we'll get the wrong, we'll get the wrong, um, thank you. Um, we'll get the wrong kind of angle from here, but basically it's a lot of fun to see how to do it. Now you can attach, um, you can attach it. In my case, I went ahead just because um, of knowing that I was going to be moving it around quite a bit. Um, I went ahead and just uh, used the pattern for it and cut it directly out of my cardstock. So that is the reason why you see, and you can see here at the top, it's got one of the opposite corners of this one down here, but in just a little bit smaller. And then right there in the middle, I just placed my little candles and clipped it down to size. It also meant that I got to say, have two of my little toppers used, which is always fun to try and figure out new ways to be able to do that. And this one says, just to say, relax and enjoy your day. So I felt like that went along perfect with the candles. Um, this one I call my tortured card just because it was looking so tortured. Um, but I will tell you how much um, the Cosmic Shimmer uh, paste really do help. Um, it actually seems to soften the paper a little bit. And this is our black cardstock um, from our Crafters Companion that I had discussed with you last time. Um, and in this particular case, I did something different. Um, this was my last one that I did, and I just wanna be able to show you because of the difference in the colors. If you look here, you're getting a lot of the purples and whites and a little bit of blues tiny little hints of pink, but for the most part, if you're looking at it straight on, it looks between um, a purple and a little bit of white because I gave it two layers. So this time I thought, well, we got to do something different with our black cardstock. And so I chose to play with the inside of mine. So that is what I did with this one. Um, what you can see here, is this one is the white, the white opal, the lilac pearl opal polish that I used last week. And I thought, I wanna see what different ones look like. And so this one is a different one that we have in a light blue. And then I added to see what that would look like on black. It picks up quite nicely. Um, and this one is part of the luster polish, the Dazzling Denim. And what I did was I did it in both black and white. So you can see just how much of a difference there is. So that top, I'm going to try and see, it almost gives kind of a purple to a greenish tint at that very top. That's the opal lilac polish on white. The second one is another type of opal polish that gives it that blue hint, but on the um, black, it gives you almost more of a really light blue, faint purples. And I went through and I took the denim, and this was my decision after I 
I played with it on various different um, items. I thought, you know what? It's going to look really great if I just go ahead and put that dark blue over the opal polish on black. So this is my little side over here that I was able to tell, ha, huh, I like how that's starting to look right up there. So that, that is how I got such a deep, darkish, almost blue purple color out of this white lilac. It's because I just added a second layer after I was done with the luster polish. And look at the difference in colors between the two. So again, this is the ability to be able to play with some of the things because um, I get to have that opportunity to play with a lot of the different goodies um, that Debbie doesn't have the opportunity to play with all the time just because of the fact that she has to make sure that we're keeping a class kit in mind. So there we have it. I did a three uh, stipper on here and I used that foil border to go from the top and I put one behind this little one and then I did the same thing up and over the top of this one and put it back and behind. So it literally kind of gives you this badge effect. And it was a great way to put down three more of my toppers. This one says um, happy birthday on it as well. And again, just use that Nouveau Glimmer Paste and paste it on it. I didn't add any other jewels. It didn't need it. It was perfect the way that it was, at least for me. I might be biased. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what I'm trying to do is show you how you can use your little scraps um, that are left over for just about anything. I literally had this one topper left over. Um, little tiny topper piece and so i went through and i put it on the corner of some cardstock that i had left over from last week and added the pink jewel border to kind of make it cut across in the two different spaces and then i put the card there and then i put um i put some of my lighter this is the backing paper to some of our lighter um, eight by eight pad and along with a saying from our promises book that says you're wonderful This one I use that other corner That I couldn't use on this one. I just literally that bottom little corner piece upside down that bottom little corner piece that's right up in here This was what was left over right there right there and so I went ahead and I had just a little bit and I was not going to let this one go to waste. It was so pretty. Um, so I added it onto some holographic. Um, I used our little wispy pieces from our stickers that we had last week. Um, they're the edges in the silver. And again, on the inside, love is all you need. And again, these will fit right in with um, your gift certificates, that in your gift cards, if you wanna give those as gifts, or if you want to um, put them in a box and give it as a notelet set to your friends. Um, so lots of different ways. Um, I had my, my Nuvo out with the crystal drops, um, and I didn't end up actually using these this week. Uh, but that's okay because I had two different ones that I brought in for this week specifically. They're the Nouveau Aquaflow. I like playing with different watercolors colors, and sometimes you can get these little packs and, oh, hey, I think that I want something in magentas and purples. I thought of it when I was putting it away one day, and I thought of it for using with this, so I quit putting it away and went and bought some. <laughs> and uh, this is a just peachy, sweet pea, and Hawaiian orchid. And this pack is called the Dream in Color Pack. Now, I will tell you that these come out exactly this dark, and they are already in liquid form. So they're not like the Spectrum URs where you guys use them for the wilderness packs. Um, these are already pre-built in with your brushes. Let me go ahead and show you. 
So it's already built in. See all that beautiful color in there? And it really does come in dark. Uh, so I have to be honest, I was really tired last night and I just did not get to the point where I finished my stamping card by adding it on. I thought that I would have time, um, but going to get my uh, shot today uh, to make sure that I'm doing my part. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was an accident. So I ran out of time to be able to make sure that I got these put down on paper, but I wanted to show you two different ways. They're both watercolors and I'll put them on so that you guys can see them tomorrow. I'll just go ahead and attach them the way that I had planned. Um, so this one, I use the Nouveau, uh, it is called Soft Lilac Embossing Powder. Um, it was really light. It was almost as light as white. And so because of that, um, the lighter shades were just too much. It looked too blanched out. So I just went through and I took one of my little alcohol markers and ran it along the embossing powder. And this is what's really cool about alcohol markers. It's not coming off. You're not going to be able to rub it off. And it gave us that dimension that we needed. But this is a version of doing the exact same process as your wilderness stamps. Instead of having such a dark, bright color, instead I went through and I uh, put a little bit on my palette and added some water and I used a water brush for this. Um, this is what the colors come out with, with these three colors. And I had to layer and go slow because otherwise I was going to kind of damage portions of my flower. So you layer them on and then if you wipe your little white, uh, just plain water, just lightly over it, you can pat it out and either pick up some of those colors or you can then turn around and add some more with brushes. So that's what I did on that one. And you can see where I wasn't very patient last night. So it's got some rippling. Um, so hopefully when I get it down on the paper, it will it will lay out nice. Um, I think that it will. Um, and it's amazing how much of a difference there are between these two just by putting it straight to paper. I wouldn't recommend that with your Spectrum Noir watercolors um, just because they are built in and set up very differently. So that is one of the new things that I got to have fun with. So are there any questions that you guys have? <laughs> I'm glad I got my shot too. It has been, um, it, it has been a little um, stressful. I find that I feel a little bit more relieved and a little bit more relieved, but um, we still have to make sure that we mask up when we're around others. So um, anyways, I have a plan for next week for these two for stamping with, um, instead of using the peony uh, flower itself, uh, for our stamps, I'm going to be using the quotes and doing it in a different way from our promise, uh, little book of promises uh, for the stamping portion. Because I'm trying to do stamping four ways. So we've got some embossing, some watercolor. I actually threw both embossing and watercolor into this week. And, um, and then last week was the alcohol. And if you didn't have a chance to see that last week. This is what the alcohol markers look like. So you're really, truly just going to get some really big differences across the board with the exact same stamp. Okay, well, that is long enough for this evening, I bet. And let's have a good night and we'll see you here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Oh, that's right. Night, Gracie. <laughs>